Uh, Lloyd Banks, man. Uh, <laughs> Lloyd <laughs> Banks to and Two Smooth to Stutter, gutter. PLK. Um, yeah. So Banks goes on Twitter, you know, occasionally, right? Um, and he, he, he replies to fans, which is cool of him. You know, uh, I appreciate that that Banks does that. Most I like, rapper, yeah, I like when artists do that. Yeah, most yeah. rappers sometimes don't. They're, they think they're too cool, you know, yeah, to yeah. do that. So um, a fan tweets him, and this is what the fan says. Um, he's responding. Let me see the actual whole thread of tweets so I don't get anything misconstrued here. Um, the guy tweets, Lloyd Banks really could be one of the greatest rappers of all time. I've said that in the What Happened to Lloyd Banks video, which got a million views. Shout out to Banks. I boosted your streams <laughs> yeah, and you unfollowed man. me, but it's all good. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Man, well, I'll, I'll go into okay, that. Artists, I need to hear this. Yeah. I'm so, pissed about that. Uh, yeah. Um, he tweets, yeah, Lloyd Banks really could be one of the greatest rappers of all time. Banks responds, wait, what? LOL, which is kind of a weird response. But he says, this is in no way was a sneak diss or questioning your own legacy. I just feel we as fans got shortchanged of what, what could have been with your word play on and off beats in my opinion with that being said you're forever top five lyricist in my book that's respectable banks and says the question is how many albums projects mixtapes does it take to be one of the greatest in your opinion that's a good question uh the fans ask like who are you bumping this and that and then banks someone says banks can still wrap circles around 90 percent of the rap game banks corrects him and says 99 percent of the rap game Wow. Yeah. So oh, Banks is Banks. on that shit. Yeah. No, for me, I did a What Happened to a Banks video. Banks is one of the best rappers. I'm willing to put my money. I told you, I said, my, I'm willing to put my house on that shit. I'm willing to put my car, everything, everything that Banks can out rap. Quite a few rappers, man. There's only a few that I can think of that he can't out rap. And it's very, very slim. If people are going to ask, you know, Quake, which ones do you think it is it? Um, it's a, it's a great question. I mean, I... Yeah, no, no, he's, you know, he's up there, man. To me, he's... I said in the What Happened to Banks video, uh, who are the rappers, I think. Um, maybe Eminem can out-rap him, maybe. Even Kanye said what he was top... Yeah, top five all time. Yeah. Um, you know, when he, when he made a song with good music, it was it was started up with Lloyd Banks. Yeah, yeah. Boom, boom. That yeah, was Lloyd yeah, Banks' track, yeah. Exactly, yeah. bro. That was, and he, and he hopped like, on Christian Dior flow and washed... Kanye, all them people on one of those I think that was Kanye's hardest verse. Yeah. His, his hardest fucking... Because like, he had to go hard because it's yeah, Banks. Bro. Yeah, because yeah. it's Banks. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like Banks. So yeah. the question Banks was asking, this is a great question I'm going to ask you guys, see what you guys think. Um, How many albums, projects, mixtapes does it take to be one of the greatest in your opinion? So whoever wants to, whoever wants to start? I mean, <laughs> I mean, what I would think is like, okay, hip-hop... You need to have a huge catalog, I would assume, to me. That's what for I For sure. Say. Like, I mean, yeah, I feel definitely. like uh, you have... Hip-hop has been like going on for like a good... like you know, 20 years so far, you know, early nineties, you can say it started really popping off and it's became the number one genre of music. I mean, hip hop is so influential now. It's I mean, the number it's, one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's worldwide. Yeah. And I think it's, Definitely. but it goes, it's going to come down at a certain point. You know, mm -hmm. I feel like when we become senior citizens, maybe it'd be something new, but, um, so with that being said at this moment, I think it depends on the moment you're in. Cause now we have a lot of legends in the game. Yeah. So at this yeah. moment, I think you would have to have three solid albums. That's a good, if not yeah. five, yeah, like yeah. five will get you over the top, no questions yeah. asked. Three, you can debate. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's a good, that's a good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about what are, what are you thinking? I think it also depends on the quality of music, man. That's what I'm saying. You good know? albums, are like yeah, good that. albums. Um, Mixtapes doesn't matter. Projects. You, doesn't you guys make thinking classics, lot. or you guys thinking just great albums? No, no, you gotta have some. You gotta have a classic. You gotta have at least yeah. one classic. Yeah, you think? I think one 100%. classic, and he does. And that, like Banks does. I categorize classics as not being able to skip over in a single track. That's exactly. Classic, yep. so, yeah, that's hard to yeah, do. Yeah, that's very hard. If there's only like a 2014, few tracks. <laughs> Forest Hill Drive. Yeah, that's, that's, over over that. I like Born Center. Born, oh, yeah, that's Born a, Center. That's a classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that is. is. Oh. But um, yeah, I mean, I think you got to have three or five, man. So like, Banks, let me let me break it down how much he has. He has three albums, uh -huh. solidified, Hunger for More, Rotten Apple, Hunger yeah. for More 2. Yep. Mixtapes, he's got, I think, well over 10, 100%, probably 15. I'm almost willing to bet. I can go look him up right now, but I know it's around 10 to 15. And then um, what else the guy mentioned? He mentioned, uh, let me see here. He mentioned Project slash Mixtape, same shit. So, yeah, so albums, mixtapes. He has three albums. 16 mixtapes. So, yeah, I was, I was close. 10 yeah. to 15. So around 16 mixtapes. So, yeah, 16 yeah. mixtapes, three, three albums. albums. Yep. Well, let me say this to you. I'm going to ask yeah. you a question. Yeah. I mean, we talk about, you know, what, what does it take to be successful or legendary, right? Mm -hmm. I want to ask you, like, you know, do you think that's all it takes? Is just good albums or classics? Do you think there's more to that formula? Like maybe influential? Like right now, Lloyd Banks. Yeah. I mean, I don't think he's able to influence a lot of people. I don't think a lot of younger generation, like the, a lot of the younger generation, know about him. That's the problem. And that's so, like, exactly why people are tweeting him that. That's why he's questioning that. 
Like because, when you say he's ninety nine percent better, yeah, you know, no, maybe, no, ly- no, the lyric. No, I know what you're saying. You're saying influence, right? Yeah, that's what I, I think that's a part. Of, no, what I'm saying is that that's part of the. Yeah, no, that that is yeah, hundred percent. Because Lil Wayne, right now, he might not be the greatest rapper, but his influence was so big that he's sparked so many rappers. Eminem yeah. can go out for like three years, not do nothing, yeah. come back, you know, five years later, still kill, boom, drop something, sure people not. will listen. You yeah. Know? yeah, like that's 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 how you know you're a legend. Yeah, you know? that's yeah. So Banks, that's 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 why Fifty was going at Banks because he doesn't doesn't step out there as much as mm. he's supposed to. And Banks doesn't shoot what? a lot of music videos. What, what is he doing right now? Like, how no, he, he hasn't released anything. So he's what released, is he doing? For, like, how is he making money? Like, he released merchandise right now. So, I mean, that, it's selling. I see, I see people yeah, buying left people and right. Bro, I remember no. back in the day, G Unit was a thing. Like, yeah, the <laughs> clothing, man. Bro. Yeah, I, I, we could barely find any at yeah. the time. By the time yeah, we got it, so. Man. But I think I, for me, Banks lyrically is one of the best I've ever heard in my life. Um, and I, I've listened to like so many rappers that over Lupe. Lupe is up there. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's yeah. there's Banks, there's Lupe, there's a few that like Banks would compete with like, sure. bar for bar. I don't know who would win. You know, that's that's up for grabs. But Banks is like he when he says 99, percent it's 100. percent Fabulous is up there know. too, man. Nah, Fabulous has some corny bars. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but he's he's, he's he has good, here man. and there. But I don't look I don't, at Fabulous as that. I don't. Yeah, you're saying but, like conscious rapper, like like kind of like a more of like a Kendrick Lamar type of rapper. I mean, Banks is not really conscious, yeah, but not. he has those. He he's the punchline king. He created yeah. punchlines. That's what Wayne Heel took king. and ran with. Word. He created punchlines. Yeah, yeah like yeah. Well, let me I go never, over some. Bro, I've never thought of it. Yeah, yeah he yeah. created punchlines. Yep. I but think he calls himself PLK. Yeah, punchline king. Yep. So let me let me look up. Let me let me it's, find some punchlines. Crazy, Banks. Guys, bro, there's beast. levels to this shit. Yeah, there's bro, levels to this shit, young boy. Yeah, he had a few insane punchlines, man. Some of the some of the craziest punchlines. But Lloyd Banks could have been something huge, man. If he just would have took his career more serious and dropped, you know, more albums mm. instead of just like stopping. Like as soon as Fifty put G Unit together, and then you know, here comes a couple mixtapes, blah blah blah. I think they dropped uh, an album, mm. and then they just stop. You know, I mean, how keep, many songs has Lloyd know? Banks been featured on, or you know, had other people like other famous? Rappers That's another stop? problem with G like, Unit never, is is yeah. Fifty never let them. Well, I mean, he not that he didn't let no, them. I don't think they just did, didn't. Yeah. They just didn't expand outside yeah, of G yeah, Unit. Exactly. You know, Buck had like Ti, Jeezy, all exactly. that. He expanded. Yeah. But Banks was like more G Unit house based and barely did like. You can't do you that. Know, all the second album had quite a few features. Though. The third album had a lot though. Yeah. Like Kanye, Swiss right. Beats, yeah. all these Akon. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, yeah, he expanded off that. But yeah, he hasn't been featured in other artist yeah. tracks. That's yeah. That's another thing too. You know, that's. But Banks, I mean. It, he works on his own terms and 50's kind of accepted that it's just like whatever but yeah. you can't complain when he goes on twitter and complains like that he's like you know i'm this i'm that you're doing it to yourself man you got to release more content people want content it just is what it is yeah. you know and he unfollowed me because <laughs> i he's been following me i made the video a million views you know i'm sure he saw it blah 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 he unfollowed me because i posted a video of rick ross like roasting banks he was like dosing him like joking around all i said was rick ross Send shots at banks or something like that too, and they unfollowed me. But I was like, "That's not." Oh, yeah, but you're not being a troll about it. You're I'm not. No, yeah, I just said he sent. Sh- is, yeah. He blocked me. He blocked. Got him. blocked. He's my favorite rapper. <laughs> I cried for crazy. one week. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Like banks, I think ten pounds of tears. Yeah, bro. <laughs> banks I just fed takes my it. Whole garden. <laughs> banks just takes days. it too serious, man. He takes it a little too serious when people critique him, which I understand because he loves. He has a passion for what he does. Like he's very passionate about that. When you get critiqued about, it, you can take it personal sometimes, you know. So, yeah, he, you know. Man, I, but scoreboard at that point, if you have enough points up, like let the people talk. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And then people, people also say like he's under the shadow of fifty, and like they're like you know. I think I personally think that I don't think he ever you know overcame that shadow, bro. Yeah, but 50, Banks 50, the 50, best. Fifty was a giant, bro. Yeah. No, fifty was like I didn't want to be the, the superstar. He was like I wanted to be guy, the guy behind the scenes, take care of the business. He's I mean, like, I want to one of. You can't say you can't make an album like Get Rich Die Trying and not be. A <laughs> Come on, bro. I know, but he I mean, was that like, was an a, that defined a whole like, generation know. of sound. Bro. Yeah, what he wanted to do though, but he wanted to release that, put them on, and then lay back and work behind the scenes right. in the business. That's what he wanted to do. But then he had to keep carrying it. Yeah. And he was like, "Damn, like I, I gave these guys." He was featured on all their shit. What's mm-hmm. the hottest rapper at the time? He wasn't working with other artists. He was just working in house and put it pushing them out. Banks did three million copies. Buck did two million. Game did six million because mm. he gave Game all these hits for free. Like, you know, Game would have been huge if he would stay with G Unit. Do you think uh, if Fifty Cent would have beat Kanye back in the day? 
Yeah, I'm gonna talk about that. Yeah. What if? Yeah, uh, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah. Like, do you think? No, it was shifted hip hop. Do you think like Lloyd Banks would have been bigger because at that point, like people would have liked that sound? Yeah, no, that's that's that's, that's a good that's a good way of looking. Like Banks Kanye really took well. hip hop off to like an off ramp, you know? Like, yeah, it made it like, it made it cool to be like that backpack, yeah. you know, conscious like yeah. cool. Yeah, it made that cool. Polo fucking. Yeah, uh, like yeah. <laughs> that was the style back then. Yeah. So and at fifty when he came in, it was just like people were like tired of it. They were like. Man, I'm tired of this gangsta hard act. Because that shit was going on to the early '90s, to like you know, you know. Yeah, no, no, I mean, yeah, 50 made it cool again, yeah, and then all yeah, of a sudden, the early 2000s. Yep. Yeah, all of a sudden you see these gangster rappers coming out of nowhere because 50 was popping off with that too, and then, um, and then it just became not cool. All of a yeah. sudden, people were like, "Man, we're tired of this shit. Like, what's what's next?" And then Kanye comes at the perfect time with mm-hmm. graduation, which, by the way, if I'm being 100 percent honest, graduation is a fucking good album. At the time, I was like, man, I don't know if 50's going to beat this guy. Because I was like, shit, man, this is a fucking good-ass album. Curtis was all right, but Graduation Curtis was up there. Was, man, Curtis. I like Curtis. Nah, Graduation. Curtis! Was... Yeah, but some of these I mean, Banks I mean, bars I'm looking at. Um, I mean, man, Graduation look, had so many, like... Oh, Graduation was... Dude, <laughs> yeah. dude, to this day, Kanye West is still mixing the Can't Tell Me Nothing record. Yeah. He just, he's obsessed with that track, which I don't... Bro, like, Track is Stronger amazing. Man, The Good Life. Oh, God. Can't yeah, Tell Me Nothing. Uh, Big Flash, Brother. Big Brother I, was a other, good track, bro, too. I, Flashing Lights is still in my playlist. Yeah. yeah. No. That, that, that. Wow. Big Brother, bro. Homecoming. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, Homecoming, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, those yeah, tracks, man. all about that. Yeah. yeah, so. Wow. 50 was up against his own label. 50 was up against the best Kanye album, potentially. <laughs> 50 was up against Jay-Z himself, too, because Jay-Z was running Def Jam at the time. Yeah. So he was pushing Kanye like crazy. So 50, it was just all 50, and Dr. Dre and Eminem were like, that's out right. of way, nobody was helping him. So the three headed monster, bro. Yeah, uh, Eminem was dealing with drug problems at the time, right. so he couldn't do anything. And Dr. Dre was just, you know, how Dr. Dre is. He doesn't really come out or say anything. So, yeah, um, yeah it was a, yeah, it would have shifted music if it would have happened the other way around. Banks probably been way bigger than what mm-hmm. he is. Um, but H H F M, I think we would have had the little Uzi about. Verts and the Playboy Cardis. I don't know. That's the I thing. Know, that's I don't crazy. Yeah, that's that's crazy. it would have shifted. Hey, about, what man. if though, right? Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, we got to get that talking about that. So, yeah. Shout out to Banks. Uh, I don't appreciate some lyrics, Love Banks. I we still bars. love Love Banks. Uh-huh. I mean, honestly, I never knew that. Let me what? hear some like punchlines from Banks. Love yeah, because I, I I literally like I that, this is quick. new information. Okay, let me let me go the his most popular track. Okay. I'm so fly. Right. Um, Banks is fresh out the gutter, too smooth to stutter. The sig will melt a brother like two scoops of butter. Hey, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> before I before I leave the crib, I tell my mother I love her. Grab the burner, but she ain't concerned because he's an earner. My bitch lays it out real nice for me to murder. We fight, wake up, and fight like Ike and Tina Turner. That's insane. Yeah, he's got, Drop your pen, yeah, take off your mic, and just yeah, get the fuck out. Exactly. Yeah. Nah, he has. When I heard that, he has bars. Like, yeah. Bro, I, I froze. Yeah. Damn. Let me yeah, see. He, let me see. He, he's sick. There's another. There's, there's more. Um. Let me see. And it's not like a Lupe kind of like, you know, no, like, he's, it's, not, it's a different kind of He's PLK. Yeah. Simple as that, man. Punchline okay, King. Bro. Look, yeah. he says this. Even though my dollars are green, I rap for the kids that's too poor to waste eggs on Halloween. I'm getting <laughs> swallowed clean. My habits are good. Collecting all the carrots I could. Sliding from the stash spots to conceal the torture. And a good silencer to make it sound like Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. <laughs> all this nice. careless talking because I'm traveling and flossing having a good time, and you having an abortion. You're a sucker for love, getting married, and divorced, then can't even afford the batteries for your Walkman. <laughs> that shit is oh. crazy. The way he says it, though, is way better than the way yeah, I yeah, say it. Yeah. So he's got it's, bars. It's all about the delivery, brother. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Top of the yes, sir. Yeah, so. That's crazy, bro. The guy has bars. Um, one of my favorites is, uh, I'll put a uh, dot on your forehead like it's part of your religion. Yeah, 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 I was like, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah the guy. The, remember the one uh, with the dogs? Uh, he says, uh, oh yeah, let me at least find that. Spots on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love Lloyd Banks. God, yeah. Lloyd Banks, I fucking love you. Yeah, he like blocked her ass though. Yeah, I, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, <laughs> if he blocked me, I love that. That made me more happy. Yeah, <laughs> that he recognized <laughs> that. Yeah, he said, "Who the fuck is this Vito?" Block. He read your name, man. You feel a type of way. Yeah, man. Lloyd <laughs> Banks. Let me find. Hey, let me find it. Yeah, no, those he, bars he, are he's good. A, he's that. amazing. Bro, I'm telling you, like, started up is still like one of my top five tracks of all time. Yeah, I man, people, oh, yeah. Find that one, please. Yeah, right now, I'm about to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have it right here. My dogs are the of spots on. How does it no, go? No, he's dissing Rick Ross. He's got so. one nigga says, yeah. good thing my flow came with a tag. They running off of my swag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How does it go? <laughs> Hold on. It's so crazy. Look, thanks. So, let me see. He says this. Uh, High and hazy, shady, grimy, slimy in every way. 30 cities, 30 shooters were like the NBA. <laughs> Blaze. <laughs> Blaze when you want me to stop tough plot. Big Macs for everyone you can eat. Pound for every pound you got. And then he says, call me Lord. I don't know the Yeah, it's a crazy shit, man. That 30 cities, 30 shooters were like the NBA is so clean. I was like, damn, dude. 
So he has like he has like lines like yeah, that. Man. Which There's is a way like, that's yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. the way he says is way better than me too. Um, but, yeah, yeah, man. It's just like it's like King Von, man. Today you're showing me some tracks like and how yeah. he's just like a storyteller, you know? Yeah. yeah. And it's like uh, when you can relate to like culture and society and like yeah. kind of yeah. That's a very yeah. He's yeah. thanks to unique. Beast, you know, yeah. he, he's got some good. It's a different sound uh, yeah. on uh, the mixtape uh, score. No, it's not that. It's Cold Corner too. Cold man. Corner yeah. too. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he has a score, score track. You're talking about a track. I love yeah. that track. You're talking about the track. Yeah, yeah that, like, that's you gotta a. Hear that shit. No, Cold Corner two should have been an it's, album. It's, yeah, if it would have been an album. album yeah. That, no, he released album. he released a mixtape that sounded better than most people's albums that year. Like exactly. everybody was like, "This is the best mixtape." If, if that you year. haven't heard that mixtape, please Cold Corner two. Yeah, check it out. Cold Make it stack with ASAP Rocky's cold too. Fire. Yeah. So. Every track is fire. Yeah. Every yeah, I'll yeah. say yeah. There's almost maybe two. I consider a classic the, almost. Mm. It's it's a great it's like fucking classic. Out of ten, man. I'd give it a nine. I nine think that was like last major, you know, big project. Yeah, I, that's probably my favorite from him in 2011. That's when he dropped it, and he was on a roll. Like he yeah. should have just kept going. I don't know why. It, like 2010, he dropped the album. After that, he dropped more great, mm. amazing, and then after that, he just like stops. I don't know what. It's it's because of 52 G Unit breaking off, mm. and then all this. It's like yeah, so I don't know. But Banks, man, you're one of the best. Uh, you know that already. So yeah, 17 you know. tracks on there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like those, those are a few bars, man. If I went that through every like, seven score, the beat goes so hard. Oh, yeah.